What is Filecoin, Philcoin, Filecoin mining? Software engineer reviews. I read the white paper, so you don't have to. I think that's the main point you guys come back because you don't want to read the white paper because there is some Asian guy on YouTube reading it for you. So it's a whole bunch of gather around class. It's time for me to read to you. So we're going to talk about what does Filecoin do if you don't know already. It's pretty complicated, the white paper when I read it. So I abstracted what I can for you to make it in a way that is understandable for the regular people that are buying into this coin and just to say i think it's a pretty good project how why i read from the white paper it was like this is pretty legit but the main problem is like every other coin is this going to get adopted because adoption for a coin is what is going to make the price rise so if you look at coin gecko there is a max supply of almost 2 billion coins and it's at a price of 165 dollars so i think that it has a pretty strong backing with a 10 or almost 11 billion dollar market cap that being said if you're in it since the early days then good for you you made some good change might be a smart idea to recover your initial investment so that what you got left is just pure profit but other than that if you haven't already please smash the like button smash the subscribe button now let's jump into the video all right so first things first let's do a brief introduction so what filecoin is it is a decentralized storage network that turns cloud storage into an algorithmic market the market runs on a blockchain with a native protocol token that is also called filecoin we have miners that earn by providing storage of data to clients and we have clients that spend filecoin hiring miners to to store and distribute or retrieve their data for them. So Filecoin miners really are like Bitcoin miners where they compete to mine blocks of sizable rewards. But Filecoin mining power is proportional to the amount of storage the miner has on the Filecoin network. And that directly provides a useful service to clients. So basically with Bitcoin mining, people just add more computing power. But what does that computer do? do it actually just wastes a lot of energy it doesn't contribute anything to the network but with filecoin mining they base it off of storage so if you have more storage then you have more chances of creating the next block but that added storage also contributes to the network itself with the chance to mine the next block being directly correlated to storage that incentivizes miners to amass as much storage as possible and to rent it out to clients the protocol would connect these amassed resources into a self-healing storage network that is reliable. The content is replicated and dispersed while replicas are repaired. Content is encrypted end-to-end -to, -end to the client and storage providers don't have access to the encryption keys. And this is especially useful for decentralizing data, building and running decentralized applications and implementing smart contracts. So Filecoin blockchain is run by proof of space time. Sounds like a Pokemon game, I know. And blocks are created by miners who are storing data. So in essence, the protocol is a storage and retrieval of data service. Clients pay to store and retrieve data. Storage miners earn tokens by offering storage and retrieval miners earn tokens by retrieving data. So basically how I see it is that we have things like Amazon S3 simple storage service, which stores a lot of like from a lot of companies in the world actually. And we have things like Dropbox, which you might've used, things like OneDrive, which are all owned by big corporate companies. So what Filecoin is doing is how I see it is they're trying to make it so that you as a person, as an individual can be one of those companies by offering your own way of storage. By offering your storage, people can store with you, which may be cheaper because they're running on an exchange. There's always gonna be bid and ask price. There's always gonna be a price that people are willing to pay, which might be cheaper than hosting by Amazon, Microsoft, Google or Dropbox. So that's the big competitive advantage here. All right, let's start with some Filecoin components and let's start with the decentralized storage network or the DSN. Now we know that clients spend tokens for storing and retrieving data. Clients would store data and they would get a key in return for storing that data and later on they can use that key to retrieve that same data. And miners earn tokens by storing and serving or retrieving data for clients. The DSN have safeguards to make it fault tolerant, which I won't explain because it's very very complicated and because there's nothing you or I can do anything about it so we'll just leave that at that. As long as you have your key then you should be able to retrieve the data that you stored on the DSN and the DSN is publicly verifiable, auditable, and incentive compatible. What that means is everything is transparent and miners are incentivized to store your dirty magazines from your mom because if they don't they're gonna lose money. Huh. Magazines. What are you from the 80s? Tell me that my mother has got the hots for me. Precisely. 
Whoa, this is heavy. All right, let's talk about proof of storage a little bit more. Proof of storage is the way that miners prove to storage providers and to clients that they stored the data that they were paid to store. The blockchain or the client themselves can verify this. Now, there are two things, the proof of replication and the proof of space time. Proof of replication allows storage providers to prove that data has been replicated to its own uniquely dedicated physical storage and make sure that the data is not in the same storage space because if it is, it'll be exposed. And that means that it could be lost if that storage space gets destroyed somehow. And the proof of replication is their way to prevent a lot of hacky ways that users and storage providers could use to cheat the system. Now the proof of replication, what it does is prove that they have replicated the data somewhere so that it is safe. So at a certain time in space, you just ask them or challenge them that I want to prove that you have replicated my data. So they use that proof of replication. But what if you want to know whether they have kept your data for a specific span of time? That is where the proof of space time comes in. Storage providers can prove they have stored some data through a specific span of time. This allows clients to ask for proof that the miners have stored their data through a range of time. So basically proof of space time is just proof of replication done in sequences. And the miners must provide this when the clients ask. If there are any invalid or missing proofs, then storage miners lose part of their collateral, which is the file coin that they put up as collateral when they first join as storage miners, because they have to put up this collateral in order to provide storage. Retrieval miners, on the other hand, are not required to pledge, commit to store data, or provide proofs of storage though a lot of storage miners are likely to be retrieval miners as well. All right, now let's talk about verifiable markets. This is the cool thing about Filecoin. So they completely took cloud hosting and took that and made it into algorithmic market. Well, there are two markets, storage and retrieval. Since you need to pay to store and retrieve data, there has to be a verifiable market to ensure that payments are made when services are provided. Clients and miners set the price for the services requested and offered, and they submit their orders to the market. And then we have this exchange which takes all the offers and the requests all the bid and ask prices and they match them together. So they match clients and miners for them to see their own matching orders and to initiate deals. This network will guarantee that miners are rewarded and clients are charged if services are provided. So the verifiable market is a protocol with two phases, order matching and settlement. So why is the mining or the proof of work for Filecoin more useful than what it is for Bitcoin? Well, the more storage you have, then the more chance you have of winning to mine the next block on the blockchain and making rewards. At every block in the blockchain, Filecoin will manage the available storage, it will validate pledges, audit, storage proofs, and repair possible faults. Let's talk about how this entire system all comes together now that we have a brief understanding of how things work. So your data are called pieces, and the pieces can be split up and stored by different miners in places that are called sectors, which is just this space that the miner provides to the network. And to keep track of which pieces are in which sectors, there is something called an allocation table, and that is updated at every block of the ledger. Orders are just bid and ask prices on a market, just like on an exchange or Coinbase or Binance and they are kept in an order book which matches the buyers and the sellers and initiate a deal when there is agreeable price. Now, in order to store data, a miner must pledge storage to the network. And to do that, it requires collateral, that is Filecoin. If a large amount of data is missing, which is indicated by missing or invalid proofs, then the network will consider that miner faulty and they will try to retrieve the data from the market itself. Because remember, your data is replicated and stored at different places with potentially different miners. Now, if the entire network has lost your data somehow, then they will completely refund the client. So in essence, the system can't lose because it can get collateral from the miners if they lose the data. So when I read the white paper, they talked about potential use cases and those use cases centered around the integration with certain networks like Bitcoin, Zcash, Ethereum, and Tezos. According to the white paper, Ethereum and Tezos bring very little storage at a very high cost, in which case they can just leverage Filecoin system to help alleviate that. Guys, your network is your net worth. It wasn't until I started going to personal development events, business conferences, and started meeting the right people that I saw my income shoot up. And that is because of the law of averages. You are the average of the five people that you're most close to. So think about that for a minute. And that is why I started a Discord server. It's completely free right now. I don't want that many people in it. That means that if it gets to be too many people, then I will have to start charging for it to just get that high quality number of people that I want in that group because we need a high quality group in order to get to the next level. Now, if you wanna join that group, then just go to the link below 
Check my description below and click on the Discord link. It's free right now to join, but if you can't join, then that means that you'll have to pay for it. So why wait? Join now. My opinion of Filecoin is I like it. It seems like a pretty good project and the white paper was legit. So I'm all for it if you have it. But for me, I don't have the money to actually invest at a coin that costs almost like 160 bucks. When I first saw it, $165 for that one coin. So if I wanted to 10x this coin, or 100x this coin, it'll have to move a lot. And I don't see it moving that much from $164. I could be wrong. I mean, just look at Binance coin. It went haywire. Network itself is pretty smart because in order to mine, you have to provide storage. You have to pledge storage. You have to pledge Filecoin. Filecoin at $165, it's for the early adopters who got in early. They are the ones who are really profiting from this. But if I'm going to get in now, I'm not going to make any money. It's what I think. So if you have a different opinion, please let me know in the comments below because I love getting other perspectives but this is just my perspective right now from how I see things in this angle. So that's it for today's video, guys. With Bitcoin breaking all-time highs of 63,000, I expect altcoins to follow as well. I just want you to be careful. Remember, this is not financial advice. You can do whatever the heck you want because it's your money. But things are going to get greedy. And if you buy the greed, then it'll likely be that you're just going to enjoy the ride down when people with weak hands start dropping their coins and the price suffers because of that. And then you end up with a loss rather than a profit. Remember my other saying, other than smash like button and subscribe button, and that saying is buy the fear, sell the greed. So that's your motto to follow. But other than that, if you've enjoyed this video, then please be sure to smash the like button and smash the subscribe button. Check out this other videos on cryptocurrencies and passive income, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.